this video is from a hike I went on back in April 2021 with my dad when we had a bit of a heat wave. I brought with me a 35mm point and shoot as well as a cheap old 110 camera that was my older sister's back in the 80s and 90s. The place we went is called Rosebury Topping, which is just outside of Middlesbrough in the northeast of England. It's kind of our sad answer to a mountain, it's barely a thousand feet tall, and it was pretty dry and an almost sandy kind of day, so a lot of the images I got were quite warm as well as green, which I quite liked. I used Lomography film for both the cameras, and this was before their recent price hike, so it was budget at the time. For the 35mm point and shoot, which is a Practica 1200 AF, I used Lomography 400, and for the Helena 110 camera, I used Lomo Tiger 200. The main quality of Lomography films, I would say, is definitely the punchiness and saturation, which I definitely appreciated on this day when everything felt a lot bolder because of the sun and the plants coming back to life again for spring. Something that becomes very obvious is that my point and shoot was a little broken. You'll notice that a few frames have these black bars across the corners, and this is from a slider in front of the lens that is supposed to open entirely when you turn the camera on. It took a few shots for me to actually look at the camera and realise, hey, that shouldn't be doing that. I won't go so far as to say that they're ruined, but they're definitely not improved by this, so let's move on. I'm going to use this 110 camera one or two times before this, and I took it out with me because I wanted something else that was easy to use and required no thought to shoot. Something I really like about 110 is the form factor, which I think might be that of a 16mm frame of motion picture film. It's a little chunkier than 35mm, so it allows for some different framing. Also, the camera form factor is quite fun and ridiculous to use, so it's always a bit of a palette cleanser. This was a fun little day out, I got to feel a bit like a tourist with my two point and shoot cameras. I'm quite happy with the pictures as well. Uh, I developed everything myself using the Bellini Photo C41 kit, and I scanned everything with my Epson V600 and edited in Lightroom. If you want to see some more photos, you can check out my Instagram, and every now and then I'll post a new video on YouTube, so hang about if you want to see any more. Thanks for watching!